Oh, you got to do what you got to do. Um, I hope his hands hurt. I got to think, I, I put, I, I made a, a major mistake. I put too much into a choke in the second and came up and I just didn't have any pop, you know. And um, he's coming after me in the third. I was trying to set, set, set and throw. And I finally did. And I landed, but it was like limp noodle hitting him. And I think that was kind of his cue to, oh, I can go. He can't hurt me, you know. And he stayed low. At, uh, probably one of the best I've ever seen it, being able to stay low, come up high, uh, made it hard to get in on his hips. I uh, looked terrible shooting. I know I got to go back and watch him. I'm sure I'm going to be mad at myself for that third. But, you know, uh, I just, uh, I knew, you know, that he, he's hitting with everything he's got. I'm not going down. It's a matter of do I just take shots for five minutes and take a beating, or do I get a chance to get on top? And finally found my opportunity and um, just had to make sure and, and seal the deal there. I know it wasn't the most exciting. I hate that. Um, and, uh, you know, that's where I got to go back to the drawing board and, and be a little better in that third round. I don't want to, I don't ever want the crowd to feel like they're not getting their money's worth. But, uh, you know, I got the W tonight. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Did you, uh, were you confident when the, when the, when the score was being read right off that it was going to be? Uh, I knew there, you know, there's no way I didn't win those first two. Um, I landed some good shots in those first two, um, and I knew that, you know, the third, getting that takedown at the end stopped it from being a 10-8. Because one time, you know, at one point in that third round, so I just kept thinking, like, if I if I just stay on my feet, it's going to be a 10-8 round. We're going to have a draw, and I can't have a draw taking these kind of shots. I got to get a win, and um, so. You thought that yourself while you were in. Yeah, that, that was why I kept thinking I got to find a way on top. I got to turn this into a 10-9 round. I knew it was too late to get to win that round. But I just thought if I can turn it into a 10-9 round, um, at least I get the W. You know, and like I said, that's it's not the fighter I want to be. I want to be the fighter that's finishing people. But sometimes you just you know a guy like that. Uh, and all credit to Vince Dennis, he's just an absolute monster. Hits harder than I've ever been hit. Absolute athlete and technician. And um, some guys just can't get out of there. Those guys wouldn't. Have um, you know, I try to be a, real, a realist. I don't. Um, there's a lot of people that are delusional in this sport, and that's the last thing I want to be is uh, delusional about what I've ha have and what I'm doing. Um, so, you know, I, I try to be honest with myself the whole time. Uh, I know a lot of people come out of fights thinking they won when everybody knows they didn't. I'm kind of the other way around. If I'm not dominant, then I'm, I'm questioning whether or not I won that round. And uh, I knew those first two were mine. And that third, uh, um, you know, I, like I said, I hate that, but I had to just consciously go, all right, I'm fighting to not have a 10 8 round here. We talked the other day, and you said, you know, it may be an impressive win as you right back in the picture, and talking about, you know, maybe being next in line. What are your thoughts now after this one, and, and kind of where you stand? You know, um, with the division? You know, I, I'd love to fight for that title again, but I, I, I can be honest that I, I may not don't want it takes. I do Masasi's a guy who's proven himself time and time again. He's right there. Um, so I, I understand that might be the next fight. Whatever the case, you know, I just got to get back, uh, let my face heal up a little bit, get back in the gym, and let's get another fight and just keep moving and keep staying at the top of the division. How do you feel about losing your 100% finisher ratio? You know, I've never really been about having that uh, as much as I hate that uh, I didn't get a finish tonight because I like to finish. At the same time, I think it's probably better for me to finally go to the decision and get a win, you know, um, just to remind me that I've got the ability to do that. It seems like uh, he had no answer for you when you took him to the ground. And just like we assessed the fight, that's how I assessed it. We had the first two rounds, and uh, the third round he came out and he was trying to, trying to take you out. Um, you know, I've got such a great team around me of guys that are really good in a lot of positions. And uh, we saw Vance Dennis is very good at it. He's good on the ground. He does a lot of really good stuff on the ground. But I've got so many great guys that can emulate that that I think I was pretty prepared. I don't think it was anything that uh, he wasn't good at. I think I was just prepared for those positions. And did, did, uh, were you surprised at, I guess, like you just said, how well you were prepared to? I was very surprised at the first round, how smoothly that went. I expected a lot different first round. Um, and that second round, I came out, took a bad shot, got my head caught, and I kind of had to make that decision of do I want to stay here and fight and take a chance on getting need, or sit to my butt, get half guard, and fight from there. And I, you know, I knew I just had to had to take half guard and um, and go from there. You know, in that third round, try to get in my close guard, try to get some uh, work out of there. But um, guy, he, he's a stud. You know, um, he's a guy. What well, he's 26, 27. That guy's got such a bright future and a uh, really nice guy. Um, 
and you know, I hope the I hope the world for him. I hope he uh, he shines. How close was that submission hold? Because when I was watching it, it looked like he was about to go out. I thought it was really close. I mean, you know, it's hard to tell. Uh, I put everything I had into it, and I think that's what led me having such a bad third round. Like I said, I'm, I'm a finisher, and when I see it, I want it, and that's probably one of my biggest flaws is I overcommitted a little bit to that. I had nothing left in my arms um, for that third round, and uh, I'm a little embarrassed that I, I'm, you know, I, I've got a lot of time in there that I, I didn't make better decisions. But you know, at the end of the day, I just had to gut it out and uh, survive and get the win. Well, I appreciate it so much. Um, you know, I, I want to put on a good show uh, as much as I can. I want people to want to come to watch me, and I think finishes do that. So I'm, you know, wish I could have got the finish tonight, but I hope everybody still enjoyed it.